Okay, on with uh, basically head setup. Uh, now I want to discuss a few things um, that I've learned since doing my original build video of building the head and the links. Uh, first thing, uh, I said size the links in my first video and all the outrage guys came back and said, don't do it, they wear in fine. Um, I will admit it's still a little tight. Um, I kind of like my fly bar to be a little looser than that, but we'll do what they said and wear them in. So I basically replaced all my links uh, from the ones that I had sized and basically left them alone. Now another thing is when I was doing the build, I was setting up for this here, which is the advanced uh, you know, quick response. And I had made one ball change, this B3 ball, I moved it to the middle hole. Uh, a couple of the outrage guys came back and said, nah, don't mix and match this stuff. You know, move stuff around, use one, the other, or the other. All right, so I went ahead and did it, and I moved this ball here back to the B3 position up here on the outside. Okay, so basically I'm set up exactly like this bottom piece. Of course, watch your link lengths. I set them up. Depending on how you set up your balls, your links lengths change. So my link A was 3 millimeter, B was 1.5 and C was 61 and that's basically the way I'm set up right now. I don't know how right those will be when we start setting up the head and hooking up the servos to the swash plate, but we'll check it out when we get there. Alright, so that's just kind of an overview of the head and what I've changed since my original video on building the head. Alright, so before we can then, now I've gone ahead and made up the three links going from the um, from the uh, bell cranks to the swash plate made those up exactly per the manual. You'll find those way back here on a later page during setup right here on page 17. They basically said set them up for um, 28 millimeter inside spacing so I went ahead and did that uh, in preparation. However before we can go ahead and do head setup what we have to do is we have to go ahead and get our main gear and auto rotation hub out of the bag and let's go ahead and get that assembled uh, because we, in order to install the main shaft into the heli properly, we need to have the main gear uh, in place. So let's go ahead and get that out, and we'll continue on. Okay, so here we go. We've got the parts out of the bag. Now, looking at the main gear, I don't really see that there's a side to it, meaning that the hub needs to go one way versus the other. However, looking at how this thing was molded, uh, this side here with the sharper edge on this hole seems a little flatter to me than this side plus it's got these mold release uh, circles so I'm basically going to mount my hub this way on the flattest side just to make sure that it's going to sit as flat as possible so go ahead and press that in there use your four uh, bolts and washers don't forget your Loctite now again when you go to tighten these up don't just tighten up one and then tighten up another so snug them all down and then tighten them up in a star pattern so tighten 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 then reverse that tighten 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 uh, don't wail on it you don't want to deform this gear just make sure they're tight and you put them in uh, again in a star pattern so you don't possibly warp the gear or the hub alright so let's go ahead and get that in and we'll continue on okay and there you have it now uh, the next piece is to go ahead and get this assembly together one thing I recommend doing is get your sleeve if it wasn't already installed mine was but get it so that the Jesus bolt hole in the sleeve lines up with the gear so uh, you won't have to fuss with it uh, while getting it in the heli next thing is this goes onto this main gear like this you'll see the of course the fatter uh, top bearing and the lower bearing where you can see the auto rotation goes in like this all right, try not to turn this assembly because if you do, you may turn your uh, sleeve hole in alignment with your gear. All right, and then I'll just kind of put the nut in the holder there. Real quick. Okay. And we'll kind of have it ready to go. And then basically what you want to do is you put this, take your heli, and put your main gear in there. You're going to need this washer on the top. This came in the kit. All right, let me go wide here. Okay and then this is pretty straightforward now before you drop your main shaft in go ahead and get your collar all right you may need to loosen it up a little bit okay and you'll notice that the collar uh, is kind of beveled on both sides so it doesn't really matter which way it goes I'll just put it on like this so get your collar on there all right and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed this whole thing with the washer into the frames and then drop your main shaft straight down in Alright, now, 
Uh, the main shaft, if you'll notice, has two holes in the bottom. If you look closely on the manual, on page 17, the note says to use the bottom hole. All right, so now what's important here is when you're putting this in, make sure you don't ac accidentally go too far and get it in the top hole. So you want it in the bottom hole. Use your Jesus bolt and nut that came in that bag, and let's go ahead and get the head in. Okay, so there we have it. We've got the Jesus bolt through the lower hole in the main shaft. Again, make sure you're right on that. All right, next thing you'll notice before we adjust this collar that you know you can have this run out. You don't want that. You want zero run out. Any up and down run out like this or end play uh, will throw off your links to your servos and your bell cranks. Okay, so what you want to do is pull up, grab the collar, push down on the collar while you're pulling up on the main gear. All right, and tighten that screw up. Don't forget the lock tight on that collar. Once you get it all tight while you're pushing and pulling up, now you don't need to like jam these together. The idea being is when that collar's tight, you have no end play in your head. All right, so go ahead and get that collar tightened up, and then we'll come back, get the links on, and continue on. Okay, heads on. Again, no in and out, up and down play. I've gone ahead and put on the three 28 millimeter links. Uh, now notice that you know the balls aren't 90 to each other, so you got a little partial twist in these links. What you want them to do is be straight on the ball uh, and not angled. All right. I found it easier to put the elevator link on without the anti-rotation, but in order to do head setup, we're going to need to put that on now. So go ahead and uh, that was something I eliminated on a previous step. So go ahead, get your screws out for that, and put the anti-rotation on because we need it for setup. So get that on, and we'll continue.